this is Pat's Two Cents, reminding you that God's into love. I've gone into that all in my life. Because it's the assignment against you, just like disrespect is the assignment against me, just like people treating Rashad like he's a little kid is the assignment against him. That is manipulated by, and all the people with it, by familiar spirits that have been assigned to us from day one. And once yeah. you recognize it for what it is, we war right. not against flesh and blood, but against right. principalities. Yeah. That's what's working against you. And these people spirits. with their underhanded motives are easy, easily manipulated and used as bullets and darts against you. And when you see they are nothing more than a puppet in the devil's hand, you will realize all you have to do is step on the puppet and rise to the occasion. Now, when people realize that you're not phased and you just, because to me, when it comes to like stuff like that, it's like, uh, um, you sometimes it's you, this life is bobbing and weaving, and you have to pick and choose your battles. And a lot of times, sometimes you just have to hold your tongue, or you know, and 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 know what to say and how to say it. But uh, say say what you say what you mean in a manner where you don't let her just draw you into being respectful into like some cat fight or some argument or some foolishness like that. Somebody talking out the side of their neck or something, somebody talking crazy to you, and you just have to ignore them and, and, and pray that God will give you the strength and give you the discernment and help you, give you the ability to, to stand and strong and to overcome. Here we go. And it's not easy. If you don't want to call her ma'am, here's another humble response. And I say it all the time. I stand corrected. Thank you. That's, That's it. True. I'm, I'm, I can say what I deal with uh, and be honest, but it's also still a wound, you know, a wound with it as well. It, it's a wound, but let me share this with you real quick. Yeah. Let me share this. They talk about how a shepherd stops a sheep, a straying sheep, a straying sheep. They, <laughs> they break their leg. They literally break their leg and then they carry the sheep. That's a form of protection, the breaking. Just think about it. That's a form of protection, the breaking. Now, then the carrying follows. There are times when you go to the hospital and you've broken a leg and it's set wrong and you're not going to be able to walk on it because it didn't set correctly. What does the surgeon have to do? He has to yeah. knock you out and break the leg once again and reset it. There are times when God allows us to be rebroken, rebroken, and rebroken, yeah, yeah. not out of cruelty. I'm feeling this right now. There are times he allows the rebreaking to happen hundreds of times. It teaches you, it builds up your ability to forgive. It builds up your willingness to obey God and forgive. It builds up your humility, and it also enables you to heal through the pain. It's something about the constant resetting of that bone that enables that bone to heal more correctly. So as a result, one day your walk will be strong. Your stance will be straight. Everything will be right on time. Right now we're all limping. And as we go from breaking to breaking, from hurt to hurt, like glory to glory, strength to strength, same process, mm -hmm. same results. It comes to breaking and breaking from hurt to hurt. And every time you get hurt, you rise a little higher. You rise a little higher. It's the, it's the wind that enables the, the eagle to rise. The, wind, the eagle does not go with the wind. He goes against the wind. When the wind comes against him, that's when he can soar up high. So when the, wind, when the winds of, of, of uh, opposition come against you, that is your opportunity at every given moment to rise above it, rise above it, soar above it. Use the wind at your advantage. Use it.
Thank you.